Morning Brew. Welcome to the Morning Brew for Thursday. And wow, it smells good in here. Doesn't it? <laughs> suddenly, it's not me. Well, <laughs> it's not me. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. It, it yes. suddenly smells terrific. And don't you feel more refreshed? I'm suddenly and awake? very relaxed. <laughs> it's because we have these oh, lovely the show is oils on. going on, Larry. <laughs> uh, we have Amanda Bowles um, and uh, Elena Simmons with us today. Hello, ladies. How Hello. are you? Good morning. Thank you for having us. What is this thing? This is a diffuser. And what it does, it uses ultrasonic um, science to um, basically get the particles of essential oils out into the air. Nice. And so it goes about 15,000 square feet and it kills all the bugs and all the bacteria and microbes in the air wow. and on all the surfaces. I love it. And also that's relaxes amazing. you. And yeah. So it actually kills the, the bugs, <laughs> the stuff that's bad in the air. Mm -hmm. and, the, and it's so good that you guys are here because the World Health Organization just came out with mm -hmm. this big scary report that the human, the human race is basically becoming antibiotic resistant. Yes. Okay, and they're not kidding around. They right. said that mm -hmm. the bugs are getting smarter than the medicine that we're putting in because ourselves and our kids. Because the bugs are like nature, they're going to mutate. So uh -huh. antibiotics are synthetic and they're going to be the same every time. Yeah. Where plants also mutate and change over time. And so they're, they're going to be able to fight off those bacteria that we're really frightened with right now. And so, so how did they discover essential oils? In the, I mean, how long have these been around? And tell us about the history of essential oils and how you guys came to uh, to be here? Well, I have one story about essential oils. It's out about it's about King Tut's tomb, mm -hmm. and actually, you know, for years and years they've been raiding the tombs. Back mm -hmm. before we right. even knew about the tombs, they've been raiding those tombs. Well, one thing they realized, I think it was in the early 1900s when we discovered it, was that there was a lot of gold left, but there were vats of what should have been frankincense, uh -huh. and it was gone. Mm -hmm. And so these tomb raiders actually would um, leave the gold and take the medicine or take the frankincense. It was, it was worth much more than gold or jewels. Interesting. Yep. Interesting. So it's, you know, um, it's been around a long time, but we don't give it much credence. <clears throat> Fran we don't give France it much credit. has been probably, mm -hmm. you know, at the forefront with the mm -hmm. studies. And they actually did use aromatherapy um, during World War II and World War I. Very so. They used it for infections and... Um, so, so coming up with frankincense, let's see. You yes. have frankincense here? <laughs> I have frankincense and peppermint and I would love to share them with you. Okay. Yeah, tell us this how is, to use these. Well, this is one way. One way you can use them is by aromatically breathing them in, yes. which opens your airways and like we said, kills the microbes in the air and in the surfaces around us. Sorry. <laughs> and it goes, how, and then, how far do these um, particles <clears throat> dis distribute? About 1,500 uh, square, square feet. feet. And um, mm -hmm. all, all so diffusers can be a little bit different. You okay. know, they have some Smells more industrial. Smells so good. Yes. And um, here, I'm sorry. I'm not really setting those up well for you. But um, this is another aromatic way of using it. And what frankincense, Larry, can I have your palm, please? Sure. What frankincense and peppermint will do when you breathe them in and um, rub your... You're going to rub your hands together. Here, Amber. Yeah. You too. And try not to get it in your yeah, eyes. Yeah, don't get Sometimes it in your eyes. it'll make your eyes water. Wonderful. That's one of the things. Like yes. Mm. So what's this doing for me? It is opening your airways. It sure is. Yes, it's it's um, opening you up. And sometimes when I give this to somebody who has a who's suffering from a headache in the moment, mm -hmm. it will instantly like take I their. Have, I gave myself yep. a good old ha hangover <laughs> this morning for this experiment. Oh okay. yeah, yeah. I drank so. some red wine last night because I figured, well, this I'm going to see Amanda and yeah. Elena tomorrow. So, and that and frankincense nice. is uh, <laughs> known also to help with mood, mm -hmm. and so it's uh, really good for depression or. Um, focus any of the things and it travels mm -hmm. through the um, I like this. airways mm -hmm. to the brain. Uh, how do you, is, wow. is this the name of your business and you can pronounce it for me? Do, uh, doTERRA. DoTerra. Okay. And it means gift of the earth in Latin. Oh, how beautiful. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Do yes, and DoTerra is a little different than other companies on the market. Um, it's not going to be the same as an oil that you get from Whole Foods mm -hmm. or any kind of natural food store. Mm -hmm. um, not that they're not nice and will smell good, but they're not going to have the same medicinal benefits that I doTERRA see. does. Yeah. And it's due to the way that doTERRA sources their oils. Um, we um, grow them indigenously. So that is one mm -hmm. thing that's huge. They're not grown in a, in a 
greenhouse anywhere. Mm -hmm. They're actually, you know, our lavender is from France, our um, lemon is from Italy, oh. our um, wild orange is from the Dominican Republic, our peppermint is from Washington State. And, you know, and, so, and we also, it's very um, important to doTERRA not to, you know, sort of rape and pillage the, the earth sure. in doing it. So we do it sustain, sustain, sustainably, mm -hmm. and we right. um, try and give back to the communities that we're in. And yeah, yeah it's yeah. it's pretty wonderful. It's a it's a great organization. So the purity comes from when the when these let's say the lavender because it, it's it's just when you say indigenous, it's like you you guys use the lavender from where it's supposed to be. Right. Mm -hmm. it's They're like, not artific artificially. Well, yeah, well uh, most of the oils on the market are going to be artificially enhanced in uh -huh. some way, kind of like our perfumes or cleaning products, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And so that's why we've kind of lost how they work is yeah. because they've been synthetic for so many years now. I see. And so, mm -hmm. you know, my grandmother actually used essential oils. So let's on me. say that my son has a really high fever, mm -hmm. and my my usual reaction is to go grab the Tylenol. Mm -hmm. What would you all do for your kids? Because I imagine that there's not a whole lot of Tylenol for kids mm -hmm. in your homes. I don't have any. Okay. Peppermint. <laughs> Peppermint. Peppermint. Okay. okay. That will yeah. lower well, the fever. And what's interesting is that every oil is going to work on, differently on people. So, uh -huh. you know, I say peppermint for your for Andreas, uh -huh. but I have two kids. I have Jude and Lauren, and they got a fever recently, and the peppermint worked fantastically on Lauren, but it didn't work on Jude. Uh -huh. So I f looked in our book, f you know, kind of researched it, and ginger, which mm -hmm. is surprising, mm -hmm. worked on Jude. Okay. So, you know, because everybody's system is a little bit differently, and ginger's a warming oil, so you wouldn't think that it would work. So but you just put a few drops, like, on their, on their feet. On their feet. Mm -hmm. okay. For children, and uh, feet is a great place because it's their soles are thick uh -huh. on the feet, and but has the largest pores, so it's going to travel into the body quickly. Is, is there anything these essential oils can't do? I mean, it, I haven't found yet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it what about sleeping or time travel? Like, maybe time <laughs> travel. That's about it. Uh. Right. Yeah. If you break a bone, you probably want to you know, see a doctor. Go, see a doctor. Yeah. 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 Or if you have a limb hanging, you know, that would probably going to work. But the oils might help you relax about the situation exactly. and stop the bleeding. Okay. There you go. And, yeah. and help you with the infection <laughs> while you're infection. waiting in the hospital. Yes, we know that that. This is also interesting. How, well, long, how long does that diffuser last? It's this got goes on for four it? hours or four. eight hours. I see. There's oh, two cool. different um, settings, and you right? can turn off the light too. So you know, when my kids are sick, I'll put it in their room with a uh -huh. breathe blend that we have, yeah. and so it's going all night long, and they're yeah. able to breathe it in, and you know, they sleep through the night. Amanda and Ellen, Elena, I see some goodies over there. Yes. Yes. So our. Are you, you cooking oils, with essential oils? Yes, these oils actually are edible, and we only recommend the uh, doTERRA line to do that because they have been tested to be taken internally. And on mm. the bottles, if they are um, able to be taken internally, it'll say supplemental facts. Okay. okay. That means what it's do been, we have here? This is whipping fact. cream with some cassia, which is similar to cinnamon. Mm. Okay. And, um, should I try one? Yes, mm. please. These are um, mm -hmm. cassia and cinnamon really help with regulating That's your blood so sugar. Good. So um, we've heard mm. a lot of studies it's with delicious. cinnamon. The other one uh, looks like chocolate pudding. It what? is, and sure. it has orange, mm. so it's chocolate and orange. What a lovely well. light flavor. Mm. Chocolate with orange what? is my favorite combination. <laughs> is chocolate and orange? You might want to try that one then. That's really good. <laughs> Thank you so much, you guys. For sure. Mm. It's fun to do it. And you could make soups mm. with the oregano and the thyme and um, marinades. And, and um, what's happening when you're eating them like this is you're also getting the medicinal benefits mm -hmm. from the oils. So, I see. yeah. So, so it's do not you just, it just with doesn't people taste on good. This? We do that, consultations do? Uh -huh. and we do events for people at their homes, or mm -hmm. um, sometimes we have classes that we, we teach around the community. So, um, so would the superbug coming out, M A R M M R S, MRSA, so MRSA, MRSA. Yeah. is this something that we can oh, yeah. put in our home? Yes. And then what are the oils that we should get if we've never had any oils before? Is there like a basic well, to two me, or three? Frankincense or? is like, to me, the universal oil. It's anti-inflammatory, it's antibacterial, um, helps affect mood, it helps with skin. I mean, so to me, if you were going to have one oil, I would go with frankincense. But, but the company also has... Um, a starter kit, sort of. It's called the Family Physician Kit. And it has um, five milliliter bottles of, there's frankincense and peppermint, mm -hmm. and On Guard, and oregano, which oregano happens to be the best antibiotic there is 
on the earth. Wow. Mm. Yeah, believe it or not. It's a very hot oil. It's a very caustic oil, so you would want to be careful using it. Okay. But, um, you know, my children have never been on antibiotics, and uh -huh. the reason why, they've gotten sick, uh -huh. but they've never gotten such a bad secondary infection because of oregano oil. And so, they're not building antibiotic resistance. Exactly. exactly. So if they do get MRSA, mm -hmm. you know, I'll just break out the oregano. Yeah. And the on guard, mm -hmm. and, you know. <laughs> I love it. It's wonderful. This, we're website, just scratching huh? the surface, but no. I know there's a whole lot more to talk about. You have an event coming up. Actually, that's been canceled. Oh, okay. I apologize. Well, this <laughs> is the big event. Then. Yes. Yeah. This is yes. the event. We, we have we ongoing. Have an event at your home. Yeah, yes. exactly. Yes. So you guys will, you, you ladies, beautiful ladies, will go to someone's home and educate them and help mm -hmm. help introduce them to the wonderful world of essential yes. oils. Yes. Well, thank you so much. Yes, thank you guys for having you. us. Very nice. Okay. Amanda Bowles and uh, Elena Simmons with doTERRA. Essential oils on the Morning Brew today. We'll be back.